In this video, I will show you how to fix if you're getting an error message similar to this one, which has the Roblox skin client is not responding. Generally, this is a error message you get on Windows 7. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So here we are currently on roblox.com. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually make sure you're logged out of your account. So you can see I'm logged in at the top right here. So if you come up to the settings in the top right hand corner, you're going to get the option to log out. So what you want to do is log out of your account and then go ahead and restart your computer. Once you've done that and you've restarted your computer, you can see I'm currently now back on my desktop. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is change the compatibility. To do this, just come down to the bottom left hand corner, click onto the search icon and go ahead and type Roblox. Underneath best match, you should have the Roblox player app. So what you want to do from here is right click onto the app and then click on to open file location. And then what you want to do when this opens the file up in the file location, so you once again want to right click onto the Roblox player and then come down and click onto properties. So what it's going to do is bring up a window like this. So from here, if you look at the top of the page, you've got some different tabs and you can see the compatibility tab. So what you need to do now is click onto this and you can see mine's already ticked, but what you want to do under compatibility mode, you want to take this box and from the drop down menu, you just want to change this to Windows 8. Also in the settings section underneath, what you want to do is tick the box to disable full screen optimizations. And you also want to tick the box to run this program as an administrator. When that's done, just go ahead and click apply. Now, depending on what sort of version of Windows you're using, you might have this box up here, which has to run the compatibility troubleshooter. If you don't, it's no problem at all. Just go ahead and use the settings that I've suggested. But if you do have this box, you can also run that as well to further optimize the Roblox player. Once that's done, just as I say, click apply and OK. And the third and final thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that your graphics drivers are up to date. To do this, what you want to do is again, come down to the search box, click onto that and then go ahead and type device manager. Underneath best match, you're now going to see the device manager. So just click that to open it. And on this window, what you want to do is look for display adapters. So if you look down this list, you're going to see display adapters, click the arrow next to it. And it's going to bring up your graphics driver. So what you want to now do is right click onto this and you want to click onto update driver. Next, go ahead and click search automatically for drivers. And if you do have the most up to date drivers, you're going to get a message saying, of course, they're up to date. Um, if you don't have the most up to date drivers, it's going to give you an option to install them. So after you've done these three things, try and log into Roblox and open up an experience and fingers crossed that should have resolved your problem. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you were to consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next tutorial.